Zero cool. That one? Okay. How does this robot thing help us save Matthew? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Just tell me how the damn thing works. Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. Let's do it. Something shooting at me. Where did it? picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. <laughs> Nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. The self-proclaimed hacker god banned all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Okay. No gun? You're putting a lot of faith in my winning personality. Well, you don't have superpowers either. I don't think a bunch of words blocking the screen is going to help me, Kinsey. It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Mm. No clip. <laughs> Mad. Damn it! The camera screwed up. <sighs> you just have to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, retro chic. I get it. I could use a little help here, Kinsey. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Do I ever lose? Oh, the turret takes time to move. Supposed to be going anywhere? Could it be as nice. 3D? No space! No space! Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. <laughs> That's better. There should be three data okay. towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. This is the usual wanton destruction part, yes? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. Okay. I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> uh, it was really more like three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. Yeah, the only person beyond help is using Yak. Very well. 
your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Fucking imbecile! Okay, there's one. Where's the other? A lot of resistance. Any suggestions, Kinsey? Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kinsey. Oh, okay. Stupid for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your security. Keep moving. Touché. That's two. One more to go. I almost forgot. Kinsey, I forgive you. For what? For not singing with me earlier. God, are you serious <laughs> about that? I said I was sorry. You want to truly apologize? You sing Pala Abdul at karaoke night. Okay. Don't know what the point of that was. At the last one, this will be quick. Oh, I don't think it should be that. Nice. Of He's course not. Vulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Ooh, that was a good hit. Forgotten how to fight? Easy. I, I need help. Wait, let me try something. Blow him up. Well, it's really cycle. Ooh, never mind. Where's the bike? Where's the bike? What was to save? Z? Alright, who knows? <clears throat> Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, Oops. an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have I feel like this is a ripoff of something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Out, out, <clears throat> Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his up upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury. Signifying. Sorry, I don't really follow American hip hop. It's a quote. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really follow Scottish hip hop. <laughs> what happened there? That turn a little bit too tight. And I'm just a retard now. Okay, come on. Come 
coming up on Matt's prison. Hold on. How do I break Matthew up without a weapon? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. You can't even give me a hint? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Of course. <laughs> Why would I need a hacker in a virtual prison? Is to say? Before you, I place a choice. And continue to face yet more fear. Is the other one red? Saving those closest to you. Your race will borrow time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity or its absolute destroyer. What is this place? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes and losses on display to remind mm. you. Save Let's save it here. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its great evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? <laughs> you used a rocket in place of a bullet because you wouldn't submit to my rule. In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one true. The human race would be much safer without you in it. Uh, yep, let's save. And we're gonna take this bastard down. Uh. This again. Wait. Is that Matthew? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Hmm. Stay strong, Matthew. I'm coming. Without Miss Kensington, very doubtful. Okay. Keep clicking. Nothing. Okay. Trying it. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see how this is going. Behold my empire. Eh. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. As personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does the pirate have a raven? <sighs> Eat the heart? Okay. <laughs> Is this the island that the pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? <sighs> it's not my fault your virtue of prism deals in vagaries. I tire of this. 
deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. I thought this island was deserted, no? Okay, I was <laughs> <What? laughs> okay, Matthew, you should be able to pull yourself out of the simulation now. doesn't do anything. Mm, sure, why not? <laughs> that was it, huh? Idea okay. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent for that. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander in chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think this earlier? Oh, I, <laughs> I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Keenzy, come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. He's naked too. <laughs> this guy has no chin. Ah! 